Hello, welcome back to another new video of OBGIS Biology. In the previous video, I have discussed about what is a cell. I have discussed about the structure of prokaryotic cells. And in this video, I am going to discuss about eukaryotic cells. So, what is a eukaryotic cell? A eukaryotic cell is a cell that possesses a clearly defined nucleus which cell has a nuclear membrane that surrounds the nucleus as we have seen that there is no presence of nuclear membrane in a prokaryotic cell and there is no membrane bound cell organelles in prokaryotic cell but in eukaryotic cells the nucleus is enclosed within a nuclear envelope means the nucleus has a nuclear membrane so now let's discuss about the characteristics of eukaryotic cells so first of all eukaryotic cells have the nucleus enclosed within the nuclear membrane the cell has mitochondria lysosomes endoplasmic reticulums golgi apparatus etc flagella and cilia are the locomotory organs in eukaryotic cells a cell wall is the outermost layer of the eukaryotic cells which is mainly present in the plant cells and absent in the animal cells the cells divide by a process called mitosis the eukaryotic cells contain a cytoskeletal structure the nucleus contains a single linear dna which carries all the genetic informations there are four types of eukaryotes and they are animals plants fungi and proteins they all possess eukaryotic cells so now let's discuss about the structure of eukaryotic cells first of all is the plasma membrane or the cell membrane every eukaryotic cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane which is also known as the cell membrane and this plasma membrane is made up by a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins that separates the internal contents of the cell from its surrounding environment next one is the cell wall among the eukaryotes some protists all fungi and all plants have cell walls the structure outside the cell membrane is called the cell wall it is a rigid structure and it is absent in animal cells it provides shape to the cell and helps in cell to cell interaction it is a protective layer that protects the cell from any injury or pathogen attacks and it is composed of cellulose hemicellulose pectins proteins etc next one is the cytoskeleton the cytoskeleton is present inside the cytoplasm which consists of microfilaments microtubules and fibers to provide perfect shape to the cell and anchor the organelles and stimulate the cell movement and now what are the microtubules the microtubules are microscopic hollow tubes made of the proteins alpha and beta tubulin that are part of a cell cytoskeleton a network of protein filaments that extends throughout the cell gives the cell shape and keeps its organelles in place next one is the endoplasmic reticulum it is a continuous membrane system that forms a series flattened sacs within the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells it serves multiple functions that are 
they helps in the synthesis folding modification and transport of proteins they divides the cell surface into two parts luminal and extraluminal and endoplasmic reticulum is of two types the first one is the rough endoplasmic reticulum which contains ribosomes and another one is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum that lacks ribosome and is therefore smooth next one is the nucleus the nucleus is a membrane bound cell organelle that contains genetic material of eukaryotic organs it serves to maintain the integrity of the cell by facilitating transcription and replication processes it is the largest organelle inside the cell it takes a tenth of the entire cell volume a nucleus is made up of several components and they are nuclear envelope nucleolus chromosomes and nucleoplasm the nucleoplasm enclosed within the nucleus contains dna and proteins the nuclear envelope consists of two layer the outer membrane and the inner membrane both the membranes are permeable to ions molecules and rna material and the ribosome production also takes place inside the nucleus now next one is the golgi apparatus it is made up of flat disc shaped structures called cisterni it is absent in red blood cells of humans and safe cells of plants they are arranged parallel and concentrically near the nucleus it is an important site for the formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids and now next one is the ribosomes the ribosomes are the main site for protein synthesis and they are composed of proteins and ribonucleic acids they can be found floating within the cytoplasm or attached to the endoplasmic reticulum next one is the mitochondria and this mitochondria are also known as the powerhouse of cells because they produce energy it consists of an outer membrane and an inner membrane the inner membrane is divided into folds called cristi this cristi are the finger like structure inside a mitochondria mitochondrias help in the regulation of cell metabolism now next one is the lysosome a lysosome is a membrane bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes lysosomes are involved with various processes they break down excess or worn out cell parts they may be used to destroy invading viruses and bacteria they are known as suicidal bags because they possesses hydrolytic enzymes to digest protein lipids carbohydrates and nucleic acids now next one is the plastids these are the double membrane structure and they are found only in plant cells and this plastids are of three types the first one is a chloroplast that contains chlorophyll and is involved in photosynthesis the next one is the chromoplast that contains a pigment called carotene that provides the plants yellow red or orange colors and the last one is the leucoplast which are colorless and they store oil fats carbohydrates or proteins now the next one is the vacuole vacuoles are closed sacs made of membranes with inorganic or organic molecules inside such as enzymes they have no set shape or size and the cell can change them as needed the vacuoles 
present inside a plant cell is bigger than the animal cells. The vacuoles of the animal cells are smaller than plant cells and more in number. Now I am going to describe the structures of animal cell and plant cell. This is the plant cell and this is the animal cell. The membrane that surrounds the cytoplasm is the cell membrane. This is the rigid structure outside the cell membrane of plant cells is called the cell wall. These are the endoplasmic reticulum co which contain ribosomes are called the rough endoplasmic reticulums and these endoplasmic reticulum without any ribosome are called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This sac like structures near the nucleus is called the Golgi apparatus. This large round structure inside the cell is called the nucleus. These double membered structures inside the plant cell which is filled with chlorophyll is called the chloroplast. These are the mitochondria. These closed sacs are called the vacuole. The vacuole inside the plant cell is larger than the animal cell. These are the microtubules and these are the ribosomes. So I have discussed about the structure of eukaryotic cells in details. So thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.